Hi everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. I uh, just wanted to draw your attention to something. Um, this is why I always look at the points of order when I'm looking at the the, the Houses of Parliament and the uh, Prime Minister's questions and, and any other uh, debate that's been on, I always look at the points of order. There's some interesting pressure getting put onto government right now regarding the sale of Channel 4 and I just wanted to draw your attention to this. Uh, watch until the end of the video no. where I dig up all of the old footage all the that demonstrates Thank the you. obvious bias that this government has against Channel 4. Last week, the 19th of May, the Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport misre misrepresented several official statistics during a DCMS committee meeting. The Secretary of State made incorrect claims about the level of public support for the privatisation of Channel 4. I think the figure was about 96%. I think also a similar amount of 96% uh, also um, stated that there were no issues and no challenges facing Channel 4. I think they were the words, no challenges. Um, the answer to the question, of course, is that 96% opposed uh, privatisation. About how much revenue the independent production sector earns from Channel 4. And let's not forget, that independent production centre only earns 7% of its revenue from Channel 4. About Channel 4's contributions to levelling up in comparison with other public sector broadcasters. Apparently it's six times more than Channel 5, according to what I've got here. Um, oh, no, I don't think that's correct. Twice channel, twice. channel I call Channel 5 the levelling up broadcaster mm -hmm. because it spends, particularly in Yorkshire, so it does very well in the regions. Here, spend six times Channel 5's external. Well, in terms of, of budgets, but I think in percentage of total budgets. And about Channel 4's current and projected financial position. Channel 4 itself wants to raise investment. We can't allow, as the organisation, the government owns Channel 4, we can't allow Channel 4 to raise investment because the taxpayer will be liable for the debt of that investment. Making record so, profits, oh, of course. Well, that's a great time to sell, and that's why we're selling now. At a time, I wouldn't say great profits, there are... Good point. Well, we, I, have time to go into, I won't have time to go into the details of it. You won't have time to go into details of it. You've been called into a committee hearing specifically for that. But um, it, while it's in um, the position it is now, that is a good time for Channel 4 to go to the market. It's a good time for Channel 4 to raise investment. It's a good time for us. It's a good time for us. It's a good time for us. Good time for us. Good time for us. Let's have a look at some of the documentary and news footage that may have caused this. And Nadine Dorries launches her campaign to reduce the upper limit on abortion to 20 weeks. David Cameron has given his support, along with much of the Conservative Party. Andrea continues to be a driving force behind Nadine. After the launch, we go for a chat in the park. You look gorgeous. You look so gorgeous. I feel like I'm at a wedding. You look with this dress. You've obviously been working closely with Andrea. Closely? We've been stuck to the hip, haven't we? <laughs> Very closely. Um, I believe that um, Islam is a false religion. That's what I believe. And there are many things that are false in this world. So that, and, and you know, what that, does that, that mean exactly? That, I do, uh, as I've said... Um, At this point, Andrea decides to turn her microphone off. I believe that um, Islam is a false religion. Islam is a false religion. Is a false uh, religion. Within minutes of that uh, election debate last time round in 2019, it was said that Lee Kane is seeking vengeance for the Prime Minister being replaced by an ice sculpture. Is that true? And Do you want to put that one to bed now? Or? It's just laughable, I'm sorry. I, I, I have no responsibility about what Lee Kane says or anything else, but I, I, you know, it's a vague, the, the ice sculpture thing is a vague distant memory somewhere from the election campaign, but no. We kept the invitations open to the leaders of the Conservative Party and the Brexit Party. They have not taken up their places yet. Instead, a reminder, the ice caps are melting as politicians around the globe fail to cut greenhouse gas emissions in time to stop rising temperatures. I'm not going to justify a news programme whose, whose news anchor went out shouting obscenities about the Conservative Party. So, you know, they don't do themselves any favour sometimes, the news programme. But also part of that public service remit is to be impartial.
Yep. And so I don't see a day when Channel 4 doesn't have news, but it does have to be impartial. So there you have it, the Conservatives being impartial. Or perhaps if they were being more impartial themselves, then they would perceive Channel 4 as being more impartial. Please like and subscribe and share the video if you like it, guys. That really helps. Thanks a lot.